So that yeah, that's that's so, that's a fear. That's definitely that's a real fear. I <laughs> pray. I'm not things that I regret, but I pray. I have a strong relationship. That's key. That's key. I have a strong that's key. And I prayed for where I'm at today. Because my when I started my business, I was working as a security guard overnight, not making any money. I went to school for medical assistant. I worked as a medical assistant, still struggling mm -hmm. to keep the business open. I got fired in the middle of when I thought my business was actually starting to grow. Mm -hmm. I was fired. And, you know, once I got fired, I'm like, now where am I going to work? Right. Where am I going to work now? How am I going to run this business with no income? And I prayed. And I prayed and I wrote down notes and I woke up in the morning and I worked and I never looked back. I'm glad you mentioned um, the writing without music and things like that, because I sometimes do the same thing because prayer and meditation is, is so real. It's so real. Like you need, you need that quiet time, especially when you're, you're a business owner and you're, you're so busy throughout the day. And there's so, you have so many things going on. Um, you need that time. That, that time is, is what you, you learn so much about yourself. You learn so much about what you got going on. You learn your next steps. You learn what you could do to make things better. Like you just, you need that, you need that time. So I'm glad you, I'm glad you brought that up because it's, it's prayer is, is everything. It's key. Like yeah. it's, it's the only way to win. So if you, 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 you gotta, that's my way of giving back. Like I don't go to church like I used to and things like that, but I, I try to pay my tithes and I, I talk to God. I keep that relationship with God. With God. I don't, I've been to church. I don't, I think I've been to church one time this year. Mm -hmm. I'm not perfect. And I feel like you don't have to be in a church every Sunday to have a relationship with God. Exactly. Pray, exactly. You know, you have a home, you have a business, you have places you can go, you can go in a bathroom to talk to God. You know, I feel like sometimes I get so overwhelmed to where I'm like, I just, I just run away from it. Yeah. And yeah. I go spend by myself and I'm like God you know you're talking to me I don't understand like what are you telling me to do what's my next step like what do I need to do yeah like I need some time to just listen even though sometimes I still don't get the answer I'm looking for but yeah you know yeah yeah that's 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 everything well okay I really um I'm, I'm glad I, I got to talk to you because I know we like we like each other's pictures and you know we both run stores and we follow each other and things like that. So it's you know it, it's it feels good to talk to somebody else who's like on the same that's doing the same thing as me. You know, um, right. it's 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 really a pleasure to to be able to have this opportunity. Um, and I know like a lot of people um, have comments, so I mean have questions. So I'm gonna let a few people try to like ask questions and I'll like pin it to see you know, to try to get some answers. We have maybe six or seven minutes because we got started five minutes before eight. Um, okay. And I don't want live to cut off on anybody. So I'm going to go just, I'm going to just ask questions, ladies and gents, and I will po uh, pin them for Kay. And I will allow Kay to, to give you guys the answers that you um, guys may need or the answers you, you're looking for. Um, so let's get started. Yeah, I love when boss women connect too. It's it's really it's it's a dope feeling. Yes. Everybody, um, it's not a competition thing. You don't have to come into the the business to be in competition with at all. So we have our first question in the beginning. How often were you bringing in new arrivals? Were you still bringing them in if you were weren't selling the older merchandise? Do you feel like it's necessary to bring in new pieces weekly? Me, I'm greedy. I want everything. So I want everything. <laughs> so when when things that I had wasn't selling, I was still ordering. But I was mm -hmm. only able to order like every two weeks. And that's when I got paid from my job. In the beginning, I recommend you start small and you you give it time for the things you have in stock to move before you start mm -hmm. them on other things. Gotcha. Good answer. Um, someone says, How do you find your target audience? It comes over time. It comes over time. Because in the beginning, you really don't know because you don't know what people like. And you exactly. don't know what the people following you like. So over time, when those items start to sell out, you're going to know, okay. This you is learn your I customer. Yeah. 
that you learn them. You learn them. You know what they like. Those items that sell out in two, three minutes, you're like, okay, this is what this is what they like. Like I noticed that my audience, um, things like, let me see, like maybe mesh and like see through, fully see through things. They do good sometimes, but those don't really move for me. Mm -hmm. They don't really move for me like, you know, other items. Um, someone says, what's the first thing you, what's the first thing to do for starting an online business? Um, the first thing for me was finding my vendors. Yeah. And, and that's what I told people before you got on. Like the first thing, that's always, that's the first thing and that's the hardest thing. Um, yeah. so, and that's why, um, when I started the boutique secret, that's why instead of jumping in with a how to guide, the first thing I wanted to do is offer vendors because, um, I feel like that's, like I said, that's the most, that was the most challenging part for me personally was finding quality, good vendors. Right. Um, and so I wasted a lot of money in the beginning because I didn't, I didn't, I, were, I wasn't finding the, the, the best vendors out there. So that's why I, I threw that out there first. Anything, anything, anything you think looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, good question. Someone says, do you have any tips for converting carts to sales? Um, I send out emails. I have alerts on my um, website. So if you put something in a cart and you leave it there too long, it's automatically going to alert you like, oh, you left something here, you know, check out. Um, you, can, you can even add a discount code. Yeah. Like, out now, you can get 10% off, 20% off, something like that. Yeah, I agree. Um, e that's what I was telling them, too. Email marketing is uh, very important. Sending out emails, building that email, building that email list. When you first build your website, always have an option for people to sign up because um, m most times those are the people that, that want to be returning customers. Um, so give people the option to sign up so that way, every time you post something new, you send out that email um, and... I think that I think emails are very important. Um, trying to find really good questions, ones that we haven't answered already. Um, what was the biggest struggle for you both starting, supporters or money? Um, both, 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 both are very important. Um, I know Kay and I are on a limited time frame. So I, I am going to get back on when this is over. Um, like, I do want to touch on that a little more, like the the, the supporters and um, building your Instagram uh, platform and building your social media platform. I do want to briefly touch on that. So I will hop back on um, to talk about that. So if you guys want to hear more about, like, building the Instagram platform, how do you get your followers up um, and things like that, then I will touch base on that. Um, but Kay, I just want to thank you again for all your time. I really appreciate it. Um, Welcome. You know.